So I'm about to make my statement before the city council on October 21st, 2024. I'm going to be introduced as Pat M. Uh, they know exactly who I am, Patrick Maloney. I've been to this podium many, many times, but they're trying to minimize me. And they're trying to minimize what I say for political reasons. And I'm going to include a little bit after my speech because I really appreciate what Rick Casella says at the end. Um, all right, here you go. Thank you. The next speaker is Pat M. Patrick Maloney, 11 Dawson Avenue. I typically get up and I say, I'm a Warwick of resident, I'm a Warwick resident, but tonight I'm gonna say I'm candidate for mayor and this is my statement for the city council. I've always been a nice guy. After watching the city council meeting from May 25th, 2023 and seeing the mayor fight to make sure his kid that works for the city received a 29% 29% raise. Eight of the nine of these city council members voted to give the 29% raise and not stop the reduction that city councilman Lattice are put before you. As a small business owner of Warwick, I don't hire people that left the military before their time was up or left with an other than honorable discharge, which somebody on this city council confirmed for me. I do not hire people who are broke and can't handle their personal finances. Why? I gave a person a chance once and they stole from me. I fired them immediately when I found out that they stole. They cannot be trusted. Forget being mayor. I wouldn't hire Frank to stand in my shop and touch the register because I don't trust him. In his own words, I was buying materials for jobs with credit cards and I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. The mayor, whose salary is $100,000, said he's on an installment plan to pay off $33,000 he owes the IRS, but would not disclose the details. He burned local businesses for $88,000. That's a quote from a local newspaper. He owed $5,000 to the city for health care because he didn't check his paycheck to see if health care was being taken out. City records show that two years ago, now four years ago, the IRS filed a lien with the city on the property that the Pocosis own. Mayor Picosi's response when he was running for office, my greatest qualification is that I'm not a politician. I owe no one. When I get elected, I have no debts, no political debts whatsoever. I still have personal debts and I'm gonna hire the best people and put them in positions. Well, now he has debts and now he's paying them. He owes the firefighters. How did he pay them? He didn't follow up on the firefighter overtime, the 2013 side agreement that he vowed he would. An account report paid for by the city calculated excess payments to the firefighters of $386,000. Frank promised to hire the best people and put them in their positions. Who did he hire for those positions? In May 25th, 2023, according to the Warwick Beacon, Frank, who ran on no nepotism, has a daughter working for the city clerk's office and got a pay raise increase that a city councilman opposed. Once again, Councilman Latticer. The councilman and the mayor had a verbal exchange in the city council meeting, according to a local newspaper. The councilman also attempted to make several minor budget adjustments. One of these had Mayor Picosi on his feet. This is my daughter, and you all stood here. You all stood here, and you allowed that to go through when the contractually obligated raise for everybody in that area was 2.75%. And I'm going to stop here for a minute because I want to point something out that's very important. Can you imagine if you worked in the same department as a person that got a 29% raise and you got a 2.75% raise? What would that do to your morale? Would you want to work harder? Would you be upset? I know I would. That is just wrong. And these are union members. I'm really surprised the union didn't come out against this. I think that our employees deserve raises, appropriate raises, fair raises. I do not like this. You put a 29% raise in the budget for the position and you brought them from $42,020 to $55,390.
and I'm going to stop just one more second here. If you go to the May 25th, 2023 City Council meeting, you'll notice that there were several employees that Councilman Latticer tried to reduce the, the raise of. The mayor never got up to defend any other employee. The, empl the only employee that he got up to defend was his daughter. And that's what I call nepotism. Nepotism is not just getting somebody a job. It's giving f a favorable action to somebody that is in your family. And if you think about it, a person who is willing to fight for their family member and not willing to fight for all the other employees, that is a favorable, favorable action. Another person that I just found out, one of the best people the mayor's putting forward is Tammy Bouchard Baker. She was a, a, a recently put, to get, put forward for an appointment on a board. I'll give you her background. Last year, she claimed bankruptcy, and she was charged with DUI of liquor, drugs, child under 13, passenger first offense, possession of schedule one through five controlled substance, 10 grams or less, possession of schedule one through five controlled substance, 10 grams or less, refusal to submit to a chemical test. This is all on record for everyone to see. So when Mayor Picosi says that he can run this city, and he's in control of his finances, and he gets in front of you and threatens you. You have one minute, Mr. Maloney. Thank you. And he threatens this city council and says, this is my daughter, when he did not stand up for any other employee that was put before this city council for also having a reduction in their pay. He only got up here for one person. And afterwards, you stood by and you let it go. It's despicable and it's disgusting. And if I'm elected mayor, I'll work with the city council. But I will not put up with that behavior. I expect better. Thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is Richard C. And I'm going to wait for Rick Casella to come up because I just, just watching back, I... I really appreciate what he says here. He's Rick he's always Sella. been a good My name's supporter. Rick I'm a resident of Ward Three. I'm a candidate for City Council in Ward Three as a Republican, and I'm I, that's a tough act to follow. I'm not going to uh, rip anybody. He says that's a tough act to follow. Rick, I really appreciate that, and to the people of Warwick, the same passion that I showed here the same thought process that I showed here, and the fact that I'm not willing to give in to this city council, and I'm gonna hold them accountable is very important. Thank you. Vote Patrick Maloney on November 5th.